Hola YouTube, Andy is here and you're watching InfoTech channel. Today we'll try to answer one important question. Is this possible to check statistics of somebody else's YouTube channels? Not just your YouTube channel. You can uh, analyze your stats by just going to YouTube studio and see each and every particular video or each particular week or month and analyze how your videos were performing in terms of subscribers, watch time hours, views, or revenue. I hope you know how to access your channel YouTube studio. If you still have questions, please put them down in the comments below. And um, maybe I will record a separate video about how to analyze your own channel. But today we're gonna talk about analyzing somebody else's channels. Let's say famous and big YouTubers who made it, who make a lot of money basically on uh, their material who's got millions of subscribers and a lot of watch time hours who as a youtuber of course want to repeat their success you want to grow your channel more efficiently so it would be beneficial for you to know what these other famous and big youtubers did to actually gain the results to actually get more views to get more subscribers and as a result more revenue now let's get to it. Let me share my computer screen and show you what I found most useful in analyzing statistics for other big and famous YouTube channels. You can even analyze your YouTube channel and compare it to best performing channels that there are out there. Well, first and probably most famous among free websites that help you analyzing YouTube channel statistics is called socialblade.com. So right here, the way it works, you can analyze your own channel. You can analyze any channel in the world that's posted out there on YouTube and you will use this particular search box. First, what I wanted to know if it can still detect and, and find uh, data points on the smaller channels, not something that's on the surface, but let's say a channel that uh, I created and uh, recently monetized, it's a very new channel. It's called Guitar Guru Andy Paul. It's uh, like brand new. Uh, I probably uploaded only seven or eight videos since it was monetized. And here, I want to copy the URL of this channel. So I copy link and I go back to socialblade.com and here paste the name of my channel. Make sure you remove everything that's coming after the name of the YouTube channel. So you want to leave only guitar guru dash Andy Paul and nothing else after that. So then click search and voila. It actually sees my very brand new channel that was recently created. Still, it already has a grade on it. And I'm actually surprised that a total grade or rank is C+. So YouTube is using internal algorithm rankings. And it goes as A, B, C, D, E, and F, I believe. Technically, C plus is not that bad. It's above average, meaning that if a similar video from similar channel is posted somewhere on YouTube, if I'm C plus and another channel is, uh, let's say, E minus, of course, C plus is going to be on top in algorithm rankings. It will be suggested more often than this other lower ranked YouTube channel. So C plus is kind of above average. Of course, you want to be somewhere in B, A, A plus category, but uh, uh, it's very hard to uh, kind of affect this kind of total grade. It just grows as long as your channel grows and more people share it and more people suggest it to each other and more people actually like and comment uh, on your videos. And of course, number of views and all that. Uh, Social Blade ranks, so specifically this website is ranking my YouTube channel very low, it's like 813,000. Then subscriber rank, though, is way high, it's only 14,000 among all YouTube channels that are out there. 
video review ranks and country ranks. So I'm based in the United States and I'm 6621st in the United States as a YouTube channel for this particular Guitar Guru Andy Paul. That's what you already can find along uh, with the most recent video that was uploaded on this channel. Then you can see if uh, lately you have increased or decreased in subscribers and estimated monthly earnings plus estimated yearly earnings. So because the channel is very new and not a lot of uh, videos that were monetized uh, posted and uploaded on this uh, YouTube channel, you can see that uh, numbers are very, very small. Even uh, yearly earnings maximum, you can expect more than 300 bucks. But it's for this particular moment. Uh, video views for the last 30 days. So almost 7,000 views. This what gives you this particular earnings per month and per year. So 7,000 views give you this number for monthly earnings and this number for yearly earnings. But of course, as time goes on, uh, this number will increase, so will increase the revenue or earnings on your channel. And then if you scroll down, you will see more detailed statistics with subscribers, how it goes in the most recent two weeks, video views, and if it was increasing or decreasing, and even day-to-day -day, uh, estimated earnings. And this is how you do it now. If you analyze a more famous channel and you see they have success, you can detect what, let's say, increased revenue right here on what day. Go back to that channel, find November 8th video that was uploaded and find what topic actually increased this number of views and subsequently increased revenue. All right, that's how it works. Let me show you with an example of a big and famous channel. Now you go back to a search box and put something famous, like you don't even need URL, but you can use URL as I showed you on, on my uh, channel example. But you can do a uh, name of the channel. Mr. Beast is something that everybody knows. It's a top ranked uh, YouTube channel in the United States at least. Yeah, and you see, he's got some social media, but YouTube channel is right here, Mr. Beast. And uh, total grade is A++. So it's highest possible rating on YouTube. By the way, Social uh, Blade website ranks it number six worldwide, by the way. And uh, subscribers rank this channel number two in the world. Video view ranks, it's like based on uh, thousands and hundreds of thousands of uh, videos that were uploaded. Some of them more successful, some of them less successful. So it's number 30. And it's ranked number one in the United States. So this particular counter shows you where the YouTuber is working from. So he's based in the United States. Mr. Beast is United States based. And he's ranked as number one entertainment channel. As far as earnings and revenue goes, you can see that estimated monthly revenue is between half a million and $8.4 million. It's per month. Uh, it's safe to assume that uh, on average, this channel makes about $2 million. But you've got to understand, he's got more than 2 billion views in the last 30 days. This is what, this is what gives you $2 million per month. All right, so it's not uh, very not easy to achieve. And then estimated yearly earnings. We can safely assume that he's making uh, slightly above 50 million bucks per year. And on the left and on the right, you see additional graphs weekly uh, for total video views and subscribers, but it's not very informative in this format, right? So you scroll down and this is what gives you more detailed view on subscribers, 
day by day, right? Video views and estimated earnings. This is where you can actually analyze what brings more traffic and more views to this channel. <clears throat> uh, daily averages right here in the middle, weekly averages right here in the middle, <clears throat> and uh, monthly average. Yeah, as we basically assumed, uh, monthly average is 2 million bucks. That's how much money you can make if you're a famous YouTuber in the United States. Uh, next counter gives you historical data. Uh, technically, you will see video views and subscribers, but for, for you as a YouTuber, this is the most valuable information you can find on somebody else's YouTube channel if you want to analyze and grow your own channel um, in accordance to data points you gain from famous YouTubers. You can see that right here, it was a huge spike in views. So apparently this long, steep, uphill race was due to uh, some sort of social media or Google Ads campaign. So Mr. Beast paid to advertise his particular video or videos right here, somewhere in the end of December, probably beginning of January, so around New Year's, right? He paid for ads campaign. It brought views tremendously high up. And at the exact same time, you can see that number of subscribers spiked. So here I can tell that whatever he uploaded right here in this area um, affected number of subscribers that joined his channel. But you see a very similar spike, like a huge spike of subscribers is right here, but there is no visible spike in views. That means there were no any extra additional ad campaign paid for. It was just a very interesting video that had very valuable information or very entertaining information that urged subscribers, view, viewers, to subscribe and join his channel right here. So you can go back in time, hover uh, the cursor over that, that point, notice which month or even day sometimes the video was uploaded, go back to the channel, find what triggered viewers to subscribe to the channel. So it will give you valuable data points of what to do with your videos and maybe uh, create a similar video to test your theory and see if you can get some of this traffic to yourself or be suggested in similar videos to one of these Mr. Beast famous videos on his channel, all right? So that would be, um, all about uh, Social Blade. By the way, here they have detailed statistics. It gives you even more information, including what social media program this YouTuber works with. But if you go to detailed statistics, it will ask you to subscribe for that service, all right? So it's not free. Future projections, though, are free. And basically it predicts it's supposed to predict, uh, let me try it again, future projections. Yeah, here in future projections, based on performance of your channel, they can actually uh, predict views, predict uh, subscribers, and sometimes even revenue. In some cases, it works for, for estimated revenue in the next month, in the next year, in the next five years, if you continue doing what you're doing basically right now. So that was socialblade.com. Another website that can give you uh, pretty good data points on somebody else's YouTube channel statistics. Uh, this one is based in Russia and it's called whatstat.ru. So if you are Russian language speaker, or you're interested in monitoring um, websites or YouTube channels, 
based in the former USSR region. So all 15 former USSR countries. Most of them um, plus minus speak Russian and uh, they have a lot of content in Russian. Hundreds and hundreds of million people live in that area. And uh, if you're interested in monitoring stats for these websites and see who's doing good and who's doing what and what brings more subscribers, what brings more views, more revenue, you go to a website called whatstats.ru. It's not necessarily all in Russian, but technically you're supposed to know at least some of Russian language to be able to monitor websites. For example, let me show you. You go to YouTube and you look for a very famous uh, cartoon uh, YouTube channel called Masha and the Bear. It's almost like um, Nickelodeon, but in Russian. And there you go, you can see the channel. The most popular product we... Here. The most popular product we... This is what it looks like, Masha and the Bear. And you want to analyze stats on this particular channel. So you, ch you share and copy link of this particular channel. You go back to your whatstat.ru and right here, paste. Make sure to delete everything that comes after the name of the channel, all right? Not to confuse the search. And then click find. Yeah, right here, you can see the channel on top and you will find all basic stats for this channel in the past two weeks. Very similar to what socialblade.com is doing, but now it's in Russian. It shows you subscribers, views, and even income, but it's gonna be in the rubles, right? So if you're not familiar with uh, the currency, it's not gonna be much useful. At the same time, this uh, Russian-based website can analyze and give you statistics on any channel in the world. It's just you need to be able to either translate or read it in Russian. There was one more uh, interesting um, website called um, kedu.com. But as of now, if you try to analyze um, uh, stats of YouTube on this channel, it no longer works. For a couple of years, this hosting was blocked. So in the past, you can add YouTube slash RU and be able to analyze stats. But you see now in Russian, it says that since 2019, um, this analytics service is not available. What was good about kidu.com is that they would give you who this um, particular YouTuber is working on promotions for his video, like what social media program and hosting is helping him advertise his material, his content, right? That was very valuable. So knowing that, you would probably want to sign up with some kind of service to advertise and promote your videos. But unfortunately, nowadays, it's not possible to find who's working with whom. I think that that information is becoming more classified <coughs> in the most recent year. But if you have this information, please share it in the comments down below. Well, I, I hope uh, my video helps uh, to figure out what makes big YouTubers rich, uh, what helps to grow your content, and maybe you would be able to compare your channel growth to famous YouTuber channels uh, growth and see what you need to do in the future to repeat their success or maybe even become better. All right, and uh, now until next video, Take care and God bless.